Let me help you out of your chair, Grandma. Grandma. Hey, what up? This is Jay Music. Hey, man, it's Randall from Clerks. And you're watching Rubber City Wrestling. Real pro wrestling, not that flippy stuff. Rubber City. Isn't that what they call James Franco's bedroom? Guy orders condoms by the pallet. Snoogans. One cameraman positioned in the ring. For an up close and personal view. Studio Wrestling is back. RCW Rubber City Wrestling presents to you RCW Global. Rubber City Wrestling, real professional wrestling, not that flippy stuff. Hello wrestling fans and welcome to another edition of RCW Global. I'm your host, your role model, Rick Lee. With me as always, Ricky Williams. Ricky, welcome to week, I don't even know, what is this, 150? Yeah, I believe so. Anyway, we got Brandon Miller, your boy, your boy up against Myers McBain, the Battle Creek Brute. And, uh... What is it? Whoa, what a I think, clothesline by Brandon Miller. I know, Brandon Miller showing some uh, quick quick uh, power in that clothesline right there. I believe it's where you're uh, camouflage today. So, as you see, both guys wearing some camouflage. Oh, yeah. oh, he got him with another one. One, one two. two. Yeah, that's, that's disrespectful. Wow. He tried pinning him with his nuts in his face. I'm not going to lie, man. That's right, and now Myers McBain making him pay for that kind of nonsense. No, he didn't do anything wrong. Oh, and Brandon Miller. Look at that. I wow. thought he was going for a suplex, and here he went and slammed him. Brandon Miller getting back up, though, man. And I, Terrence Knight is out there. I'm wondering what's going on here. I'm curious as well, huh? Uh, I know Terrence Knight does not like Brandon Miller, but it's a rough hat. One, two. Good lord, that would have been a, like a five count had to rep in a position. No, it wasn't. It was fine. I'm pretty sure. Oh, what a kick to the face by Brennan Miller. I know, right? That wasn't even a. I thought it was going to be a drop kick. That looked more like a karate kick. But the referee. That should have been over. What's going on here? What do you mean it should have been over? His shoulder was up. That's why the ref didn't count. Where's the ref at? What is he doing? What do you oh, mean, where's the ref course. at? Oh, of course. Maybe where's the ref at? Oh, it's this dude again. Uh, Always interferes the matches. Look at this. One, two. Oh, look at that. Myers McBain, real smart to put his hand on no, the rope. No, he did not. Oh, my gosh. Why does he... Why? Did, why? Why, why is it every match I watch... These goons always have to help the other well, well, person well, first out. Of all, first of all, I, I know you did not. Oh, beautiful side splitting rock One, bottom. Two, kick it out. There oh, okay, but he's out of there. Uh, anyway, you're talking about George Davis, our world or global world television champion. He would never do anything. He's just George here to Davis watch the match. Very irritating. Look at that running elbow. Two. And another great kick out. Yeah, lucky kick out on that one because that running elbow looked pretty, pretty, uh, pretty solid. Pretty sloppy, about it. And then, oh, anyway. he's going for it again. Oh, beautiful by Brennan Miller. And look, he brought the hands in. One, two, and three. It is over. <laughs> okay, that and, was a lucky one by Brandon Miller. And your Miller. winner is Brendan Miller. Brandon Miller is your winner. I got to find out why Terrence Knight was outside the ring, him and uh, George Davis. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and take our first commercial break. But when we come back, more RCW Global. Do you enjoy indie flicks and B-movies? Maybe have a script in mind and want to be showcased? Well, the same company that gave you footsteps and night sea, Guru Films is looking for more ideas. Contact us at thegurufilms1 at gmail.com or through the Guru Films Facebook page. So be sure to follow us on Facebook at keyword 
Guru Films to purchase the DVDs and for updates on new films coming soon. Do you need something hauled away? Are you looking to scrap that old washer and dryer? Whether you're moving, doing some spring cleaning, or just need something taken away, Fuller's Cleanout is the way to go. Contact them by phone at 234 716 9651 or on Twitter at FCO The Way to Go. If the stuff has to go, call FCO. Professional wrestling is alive and well when the Butcher battles Cody Reaper for the RCW World Heavyweight Championship. After costing Rick Lieb his third RCW World Heavyweight Championship, the Misfits go one-on-one -on -one with The Way in a four-on-four -four elimination match. Rubber City Wrestling brings you ring cleaning Saturday, April 22nd at the Akron Turner Club in Talmadge, Ohio. Tickets start at just $12. Finally, RCW has gotten us some competition worthy of the prodigal son, George Davis, worthy of the system, worthy of a global heavyweight championship match. Well, Mr. Hendricks, we know all about you, sir. We've studied you for a long time. We know everything about you. We know where you've been. We know the accolades. We've watched you run through opponents here in the RCW and elsewhere. So please believe that we are coming prepared. We're coming ready and we're coming full force. Just like we tell everybody else, no matter who it is, if you want that belt, come and take it from us. April 22nd, we'll see you there. All right, we are back right now. This is actually our main event of the evening. It is for the RCW World Tag Team Championships. Pope Brothers versus Mayhem Mafia versus Top Guns versus James Lethal and GDT. Now, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, this is going to be a good match here. But uh, one thing that we have to note, uh, one of the Pope Brothers is missing, and that's Nick Pope. Because Crazy Nick got in a car accident and his foot isn't healed. And now Brutal Pope is going to be defending the belt by himself. Wow. Well, the beauty is in this kind of a match, you know, you can tag anybody out. So he'll still get his rest. No, that's good. So it actually, this match works. If there's going to be a match to work in his favor, this is the match. Hold on. He said mama didn't raise no punk, but if he did, it's obviously my brother. I'm pretty sure that's what he said. That's what I heard him say. Oh, no, he didn't. But anyway, I love that. I love that he's just showing heart in this match. I'm excited to see how he does. Actually, I will be cheering on the punk brothers. Today. I am pretty sure he just called out his brother for not being there tonight. He did not call out his brother. I'm pretty sure he did. Speaking of that, prayer for his brother for a fast recovery. <sighs> you make me yawn. Good. Anyway... Now here comes out the uh, Mayhem Mafia. You know, and had I known what they were going to do for me, I would have come out with him. I would, I, I would have loved to have been able to go out there with him, but with the, oh, the, the terrible Mayhem allowed. Mafia. What do you mean terrible? 
Uh, is it because you don't like Puerto Ricans? No, it's not. That's not. Are you what? racist? Is that what you're trying to tell How us? How am I racist? I'm just saying I don't like it. <laughs> I, I mean, okay, well, well, well listen. I like, mean, no, these I are speak. Latino. I mean, if they weren't Latino, would you like them? I like Rey Mysterio. Oh, oh, is that like your one, I liked one Eddie, black I friend like or Eddie something? Guerrero. What the heck do you want me to say? Oh, like, my goodness. On. Listen, all I'm saying is you've got a team that's well established. You got, look at that, Max Cortez, one of the greatest wrestlers to now ever you're right, grace the biggest cheaters of all time. Go ahead, continue. Really? Yes. Who did he cheat to become the uh, world heavyweight champion? I mean, have you seen his matches? Max Cortez, a former world super heavyweight champion. You've got Josh Cortez, former world heavyweight he champion. A, he is a, he is a real man right here, James Lethal. James yeah. Lethal, GDT. Yeah. And these and two. Good old Ken, too. Oh, jeez. Yes. Good to see uh, Ken these back two. there, too. Ken trying to recruit GDT on this one. That's funny. I would love it. I feel like they'd be great together. I don't know. I, I, uh, GDT giving the fans high fives. Maybe. Hey, yes. Maybe he's sure turning over another leaf. I would love it, man. I mean, it is what it is. <clears throat> Let's see what we got going on here. James Lethal, man. You know, James Lethal is focused, man. He looks serious. He does. I'm very excited to see how he does in this match today. There he goes. Welcome him coming in now. You see GDT, though, I'll give him credit. He showed respect. He wiped off his feet before he got in the ring. All great wrestlers wipe off their feet before and the that game. I can agree with, with you. For the first time, I agree with you on something. Yes, always wipe your feet before you. Well, oh, yeah, that's just ring etiquette. Yes, it now, is. here's something that I do not understand. Oh, look Why at Why are these dorks coming out last when that should have been saved for the champion? Oh, throw that on the ground and break it. No, I love this. Yeah, that's child abuse. No, it's not. Die Hard is just giving the lady, uh, cuss, uh, ladies, gosh. yeah, probably. Whoa, 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 to excuse him, ladies. me, goodness, can't Ugh. speak today. Um, giving the uh, fans, you know, change and stuff. I mean, I would love that if I was a fan. Shoot, look at these two. Oh my gosh, look at Smite, Mike Smiley, man. They got them dumb looking shirts on. Oh, they're great. Top Guns, man, they're awesome. Oh my gosh, Top Gun are a lot of things. Awesome is not one of them. Oh yes, way better in the way. Oh my gosh. I mean, in what male strip club did they get those outfits from? I don't know. They look ridiculous in them. You should be called the T uh, WTAR. Look at this, the Chip and Jail, Chip and Dales. That's what they are. <laughs> All right, anyway. We got top, top Guns in the ring first, or wait, is all of them? How is this match supposed to go on? Is this a tornado match, all of them at once? I guess so. I think so. That's what it looks like. I'm very intrigued and excited to see what happens here. No one said it was supposed yeah, to be like that You're way. very tired today, Romano. Oh, my gosh. I got an obsessed tooth, man. I'll be honest with you. So now I'm going to have to... Hey man, listen, yeah, this weather ain't helping. I got a migraine myself, so I don't blame you. So I'm not well, it's not even, it's giving me a headache because of the tooth. But yeah, that's that's what it is. I'm on, I'm on like these antibiotics for it. So yeah, they, they, they do, they, they, uh, I'm kind of being put in there, man. I don't blame you. So if I'm not my normal chipper self, sorry, I'm here. No if our commentary is bad tonight, I am very sorry, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, commentary won't commentary won't be bad when the commentary, I did, and I corrected myself. But thank you for reminding me that I had to correct myself. <laughs> now oh, the commentary won't be bad when the Mayhem Mafia, representing the way, become tag team champions. Let me be the ones that get destroyed by James Lethal and the Top Guns and. All these other great tag teams, the Pope, one of the Pope brothers, I mean, shoot. One of the Pope brothers is a great tag team. One of the Pope brothers is a great tag team. That's exactly your words. Well, you know. No. You know what? The Pope brothers are a good tag team. Yeah, I wouldn't right. go as far as to call them great, and I damn sure wouldn't call James Lethal great. I mean, when, when Detroit's Most Wanted was, runs riding high, he was being carried by uh, Nick Lethal. No, he was not. Oh, absolutely. Oh, my gosh. 
Man, what Look is, at that. Where is Ma what Look is at that. Max doing? Max. Man, he was just patting him on the head, telling him, good job, buddy. That's not wrestling. Yeah. That's just being ignorant, in my opinion. Fear what? You heard me. Angerant? Wake up, role model. Maybe you'll hear me better. Yeah, I mean, you're putting me to sleep in here. Good. All right, come on, Max. Make sure more quiet. Come on, Maximilian. Now this man here, I mean... Let's go, James Lethal. 20 years of wrestling. Actually, 20... What was it? 20... I don't even remember. 26. Right, years right. of wrestling. I mean... You've been doing this for a minute. 27, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, there's a good lockup. And here goes Max. Look at this. Look at this. Watch Max break that arm right here. Uh, Boom. Break Look at that. Look at how twisted it is. I can hear a crack, a snap, crackle pop. Look at that. Oh, wow. Goes into a pin. Tell me that wasn't beautiful. That was okay. That was beautiful. And that should have been a three count, but no, referee nope, was wasn't. out of. Oh, gosh. Already. James Lethal. One, two. Now Max on the ropes. Come on. I believe that was a spear. I couldn't see it really well because the oh, It looked like a high. drop kick. Oh, was it a drop kick? I thought it was a spear. I don't know. Camera angle wasn't the best, but I'll tell you right now, it didn't hurt Max. Max still up there doing his thing. Surprisingly, I mean, that looked pretty brutal. Yeah, so did that kick to the ribs. And now they're bringing in the Pope brother. That Get it? The Pope brother. Brutal Pope comes in there. He starts river dancing on him. Giving him kicks to the to his uh, side. Now he's going for that arm, working on the arm. He's about to snap his arm off. Goodness. Yeah. Let's see. This is a bad strategy on on his part. He's working on the right arm. He should be working on the left, the weaker of the two arms. You never go for the e or, or the strong arm because the strong arm he can power back from quicker. And there comes Mike Smiley. Now watch Mike. Already pinning. <laughs> One, One two. two. That's smart. That's smart. Wow, not good. Yeah, it was. Oh, now, I'll, I'll say this: Mike was trained by the best, and so he knows. He he knows. If the guy is down, you go straight for the pin. Actually, I will say this about the Top Guns: they were both trained by probably the greatest trainer in the world. And so, so they uh, they know what they're doing. I mean, oh, wow, you actually say nice things about the Top Guns. That kind of surprised me a little bit here. Yeah, I trained them, and then they turned on me. As they should. So there it goes. Die hard. Die hard with a Choking nice. and then a full a closed choked. fist. Never Oh my gosh. You in the he had him by the throat and then he hit him with a closed fist. Oh and you goodness. saw it. And he just did it again. No, he didn't. You saw that he did it. And now in comes the Mayhem Mafia. Oh, what? There, you can't have two people in the ring. What's going you on? You can't. No, you can't. You get five seconds to have two people in the ring. Oh, wow. And there he goes. Elbow hey, down. goes James Lethal right now. And now, oh, just messing with his arms, man. Everybody just targeting his arms today. Yeah, see, again, he's on the wrong arm, man. You got to go for that left one. Yeah, anyway, we're going to go ahead and take our first commercial break. But when we come back, we'll have more of RCW Global. Artistic Butterfly is a locally owned shop made up of all handmade crafts and gifts. We have over 30 vendors that hand make their own unique items. Our products are constantly changing. We also provide fun crafts for adult eyes only in our newly opened third room as well as homemade candies and baked goods. And let's not forget a few drawings by your role model Rick Leap. Artistic Butterfly LLC is community based. We do fundraisers for kids with cancer, and we also collect non-perishable items for anyone in need. Come see us today at 498 Canton Road, Akron, Ohio, 44312, or call us at 234-334-4656. Artistic Butterfly, LLC, allowing local artists to spread their wings. TNT Health, unmasking your potential. So... You want to look like the headline, Vinny DiMaggio? Here's your chance. Let's not be ridiculous. Nobody can look like Vinny. But if you need that energy before your workout, or you want to lose some weight, burn some fat, we got that. You want to build some lean muscle? You can get it at TNT. Or even if you just need the essentials, BCAAs, juiced up, here at TNT Health, we carry it all. 
Come visit us at TNTHealth.com. Would you like to see your commercial aired on both RCW Spotlight and RCW Global? Contact us on social media at Facebook.com slash Rubber City Wrestling, Instagram at Rubber City Wrestling, or email us at the RCW Network at gmail.com. Professional wrestling is alive and well when the Butcher battles Cody Reaper for the RCW World Heavyweight Championship. After costing Rick Lieb his third RCW World Heavyweight Championship, the Misfits go one-on-one -on -one with The Way in a four-on-four -four elimination match. Rubber City Wrestling brings you ring cleaning Saturday, April 22nd at the Akron Turner Club in Talmadge, Ohio. Tickets start at just $12. All right, we're back, and he's still working that right arm. He needs, again, I, I don't understand these guys, man. I mean, unless they found something wrong with that arm, I never worked a guy's strong arm. I mean, I'm just going to give away a secret right now. I'm always on the left side of the body. Well, you know what? I'm trying to. I'm starting to think about something else. Maybe they're attacking that strong arm. So Maybe it's can injured. Use that weak arm. Maybe it's injury. That's the only thing that I can think of is that he might have already revealed an injury to it, and then you work on it. That's the only time I ever go on the opposite arm is if I know it's injured, or like maybe a Mike Smiley who I know is left-handed. Then I'll work his right arm. But why does that make the the opponent use that weak arm more if he hurt the strong arm? No, 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 no. You don't get it. It the strong arm heals faster. Good point. Okay. So you don't use the strong arm. Plus, it's a lot harder to take advantage of. But it seems like it's not that hard in this match. So either he's a lefty that I did not know about, or he is he had an injured arm to start with. Or he's both. You never know. Anyway, now Max. Max Cortez. Max over here and the, the Oh now goodness. The punch to the stomach. No punch to the freaking no no talking spot. About? Goodness gracious. The no no spot. Yeah. How is he supposed to hit it, man? Everybody knows James Lethal has a really small no no spot. Oh what? <laughs> I, I mean, okay. I'm no, not wait. gonna say, how do you know? Whoa! Wait, well, how do you know, Romano? Brutal Pope just stomped on his no no spot. Um <laughs> First of all, how do I'm you I'm using know? that from now on. Yeah. No, no spot. Yes, you can use that. Oh, oh wow. goodness. A little double team. Brutal Pope teaming up with uh, with, with you know, one of my guys in the Mayhem Mafia, that. Josh Cortez. Now Josh tagging in Die Hard. They're just all working on the big man. Yeah, are. Goodness. I see that there's a strategy here to work on... Uh, James Lethal. What did James Lethal do to deserve this today? Goodness. I don't know, but Brutal Pope is taking exception to the fact that Die Hard is trying to take his pin away from him. Because <laughs> Die Hard pins James Lethal, doesn't matter what happens with Brutal Pope, he loses his belt. Yep. And now it's just. Now, would it be crazy if Brutal Pope wins this match? I know it's far fetched because we already know Maya Mafia's going to, but. Wouldn't it be crazy if Brutal Pope were to win this match? If he wins and this match. And then that means that James Lee, or, or Nick, uh, Nick Pope didn't even have to uh, defend his belt to keep him. I would be honestly very shocked. And then here comes GDT versus Mike Smiley, which I've heard is a guy by the name of the Rogue, former champion in RCW. I heard this is his dream match. Really? I don't know if it really is, but I do know that he had always talked about how he'd like to see these two fight. And now we have GDT finally oh, signed here to wow. RCW. And Mike look at Smiley. that, Mike Smiley with that freaking enziguri. I've been hit with that so many damn times that I don't even try, I don't even try to catch his leg anymore. It's just sometimes when you're in there and you're working off pure adrenaline, he goes for the kick. It's the first thing that you want to do, but he kicks it so slow on purpose. Because he knows you'll catch it, so he can hit you with the insecurity. Right. Now, Mike, uh, Smiley, Mike and Smiley and Max, working Max together? Cortez working together. This is a first. I, I wasn't ever see this. GDT in there took a nasty punch to the jaw. Uh, GDT right here goes. Ooh, a big headbutt. <clears throat> a 
big head butt. Oh my goodness. He's out. Max Cortez. Now here comes Josh Cortez. Man, we're about to win these belts right here for the way. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. Takes it. And no! then a splash double team move by the Mayhem Mafia. Oh, no. And then Brutal Pope smart in there for the save. Pope. That wasn't smart by Brutal Pope. What's he doing? Uh, look, why is he using the rope? Oh my gosh. Uh, there's just not enough room. Uh, always using the rope for your advantage. What are you talking about? Come on, ref. Like it's. He can't help it. It's just not enough room in there. Oh my gosh. Look at that reverse chin lock. right there. A, a nice reverse chin lock right there by. And now Max is in. Josh Cortez was about to say. Uh, Max is in. Now Max picking up GDT. GDT fighting back. Throws a good punch. Ooh, another good punch. Third good punch. Yeah, well, Max had a lot of surgeries oh, in that stomach, goodness. so and he knows it. You would know. That's like you getting punched in the stomach right yeah, now. Yeah, no, yeah, my surgeries. Yeah, yeah, Max had a couple of surgeries down there himself. So if I ever do come back, you know, maybe people start targeting that spot. I don't want that, but you know what? You never know. Well, you make sure it's healed. That's what I had to do with my chest. Try strengthen it up, I guess, you know. Absolutely. But anyway, both, both uh, wrestlers are down right now. You know what I, mean? I noticed now, that. Now... The Pope brother is in, yeah. and oh my goodness! And now, now he's down. And James Lethal, James just destroyed him. Shoulder tackle, and here comes a suplex. Oh, what a suplex! That was a high suplex. Oh, I believe. Yeah, hate to be suplexed by James Lethal, knowing he's almost seven feet tall. Yeah, no, thank you. I would not want that. Oh, oh, oh goodness. my gosh! I guess payback's a biatch. I guess so. <laughs> he just hit him right where he stopped him earlier, and uh. And there's no no spot. The oh, no man. no spot. Your your new word that we're gonna steal from you. The no no spot. No no no. Oh, oh close fist punch. And there goes a couple elbows. James Lee's is throwing a 400 pound man. See, this is the no only guy way. I know. Oh my he did goodness. Not just, he did not just spine buster. What? Schizo. Wait, and hold up. Oh, and... Die hard over there. Die hard trying to pin him. Away. But... Well, what happened was when James Lee went off the ropes, Die hard tagged him in the back. That was pretty, that was pretty genius by Die hard. Now he just and now Die Hard just sucker punched GDT. Wow. With a closed fist, by the way, and you know it was a no, closed fist. It was not fist. a closed fist. It was 100% fist. a closed fist. Not a closed fist. Everything's fair. No. Now, Die Hard's uh -oh. a dirty player, man. Uh oh. Die Hard now. Remember, Die Hard was in the way. He was a really dirty wrestler, and that's why we had to get rid of him. So. It's just. I thought Die Hard was going to do something, but I guess you just got to let him. Let him what? Yeah, Let him get up and clap? I guess so. Yeah. Well, I didn't even know that he was in the ring. Now, but now he's in there. Ooh, just up, throws just, Die Hard just, down. Just, now, you got to understand, Die Hard is, you know, like a, a, a quarter of a length over top of 5'5", five, five, you know. It's like, what is he, like 5'6", five, 5'7"? Five, and then you've got James Lethal, who is about 6'5". Four, six, five, six, six. I don't even know. Did Brutal Pope just hit Miss Felony? Yeah, I just saw that too. I'm telling you right now, you got you you got to be cowardly to hit a woman, man, and, and that's not cool. Whoa, oh, Die Hard wow. with a clothesline on the big man. I will tell you what, man, Die Hard's one tough son of a gun, man. I swear. I even got shocked on that one. Yeah, I mean, you wrestled. And, and I told you, Die Hard's tough. I told everybody, Die Hard's tough. That's why we had him in the way, but then, you know, he tried think, tried thinking that he was going to break people's records and stuff, and it was time for him to go. Thank God he left. I was so happy. Left. One. We kicked him two. out. No, he left. Left. We kicked him out. Yes. And as a matter of fact, it wasn't just we kicked him out. It was me, and I made him lose to Spike, and that's all that I got to say about that. I would have left too, honestly. That was part of oh, that look at this. Freaking now, this is actually really smart by Mike Smiley. He is Mike Smiley? Did he just do what he I just, think he, he just, just did? He just did a stunner. Oh, to GDT, my. two, three. Oh, he just won off a stunner. Unbelievable. And your winner are the Top Guns. 
Oh, that's just disgusting. Ah, uh, well, there goes your Mayhem Mafia, huh? I guess they didn't win, didn't they? Wait, 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 is Die Hard's thong showing? Oh, no, shut up. <laughs> no, I think so. No. It is! Look, his thong is showing! That is part of his outfit. Oh my gosh, you're so, you're so annoying. Die Hard wins with his thong out, distracting anyway, everybody. Anyway, in the, the top the, guns are your winner and the new tag team champions, too. Oh, this, this is the worst well thing deserved. that could ever happen to us. First, we have to see Die Hard and Top, the Top Guns win the freaking tag team belts, and then Die Hard lets his thong hang out of the back oh of his pants. Oh my goodness! Oh, I'm my stomach is turned. Get, I'm disgusted right yourself. now. Look at Max; he can't believe what he's seeing right now. Good. Oh bye my bye. goodness! Bye, bye, this bye, is terrible. Mafia. Terrible. Goodbye. I'm telling you what, I would like to say this was a great show because I thought it was going to be, but it really wasn't. It was an amazing show. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Your commentary was horrible. Oh, okay. And then that. Yours was awful. Anyway, for Ricky about. Williams, I'm your role model, Rick Leap, saying join us next week for hopefully a better edition of RCW Global. <laughs>